Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to the GBL World Series. The Tampa Bay Stingrays hosting the Soul Singers at Riverboat Stadium this and afternoon for games everybody. one and the show brings two. You Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Singers taking on the Rays. The Singers beat the Cairo Cats. They trailed the series two to one, and they came back to win that series With three to two. The Stingrays. Postseason baseball won their so series. Always great to see and be three games of. to oh, one. Randy Johnson on the hill when it comes to today for the Stingrays, looking for their first world championship in franchise history. There they are, and, maybe a and they're all fired up. Forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. Looks like Marcus Stroman we'll be back with the first on the right hill for the Singers. All right, ready to go here. Here's a big power threat. Randy or Rosarena. Randy or Rosarena. And Randy Johnson. Pitch number one. We are underway in the GBL World Series. Here we go this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. That one is absolutely belted. It is just and foul. It gets into the corner, but it's foul. Nice. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Check swing didn't go. One and oh. Beautiful Acuna afternoon for baseball here. Only a hundred thousand dollars, but a lot of talent as far as the family. His dad Ron was a minor oh, league outfielder, and his grandfather Romo was a pitcher in the Houston organization. What does that have to do with his signing bonus? Swings and misses. Now two and one. Yeah, when you just look at that uh, lineage, those, I mean, for him, those facts just do his, not line up. You imagine that. You know, he's going to be a big leaguer with that type of, you know, training and coaching that you've had at home. One down, base is empty. On the ground. Turner first. to the babe. Start to this Two down. Action. Two gone. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Stepping in the long ball threat, Frank Thomas. Pitches in there. The big unit Strike against the and big hurt. His two younger brothers, Brian and Luis Angel, are in professional baseball right now playing in the minor leagues. And a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Thomas He's got some solid wood on that one. Lucky it was on the ground. High speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Now it's Jose Ramirez. In there for strike one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. Two Randy got through the first couple here. of guys. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole sort lot of easily. For the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It could be. That is a very good point. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Henderson puts Henderson it away. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Out of the bottom of the first. No score. Sellout crowd here at Riverboat Stadium for game one of the World Series. Julio Rodriguez. Julio is hitting 267 on the year, and he has 27 stolen bases. Oh, way out in front of that splitter. One of the coolest moments of Marcus Stroman's career, Chris, 
He was the MVP of the 2017 World Baseball Classic. Team USA won gold. He took a no-hitter into the seventh inning of the championship game. Really so awesome to see how guys buy into the WBC in spring training. They really take it seriously once they put on that USA yeah. uniform. And strike two. That's to third. Tosses across the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Nice play, nice play. Ricky Henderson. Now Ricky's hitting 323 on the year, 29 stolen bases. Leads the GBL. To hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right handed batter. That was Swing an and a miss. And that is strike one. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right handed pitchers. And their comfort level increased so much that they actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Batting third, the third baseman, Ellie. Here's a speed threat, Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie sitting 298 on the air. He has 24 stolen bases. So you can see how important it is to keep these stingrays off the base paths. They run, and they run a lot. Swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. They also swing a lot of bad pitches. Against the same side, whether it's left on left or right on right, and this guy's an exception. The 0-2. Ellie sends that one down to right field. And Acuna able to make the Acuna grab. puts it away on the warning track. We're we through one. No score. Singers and Stingrays, no score. Welcome back. Top of the second. And now up to hit Miguel Cabrera. Miguel all right, we're going to get uh, Kenley Jensen up and Goose Gossage today. Johnson, back to work. Uh-oh, Cabrera got into that one. That's bad. And it's gone. Home run. He sends it out of here. And just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. That'll quiet this crowd down. Damn it, man. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Now here is Grady Sizemore. Yeah, he went up and in. Miggy turned on it. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Got him with the miss, slider. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. And here is Rod Carew. Rod's batting eighth in the That's lineup. Strike. Very few would question that Carew was one of the top hitters of the 1970s. Kind of a... Odd place for him to be batting in the eight hole. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. The stats Carew put up from 1972 to 78 were just amazing. I mean, it was the prime of his career, won six batting titles over the course of seven oh. years. Marte throws the first in time. Two yeah. Away. And he's got very good speed, so he's normally now it's gonna be near Alan the top Trammell. of the lineup. First pitch, and he just misses. And many pitchers would say Carew had no weakness as a hitter. There wasn't any kind of pitch that he couldn't handle. And a base hit up the middle. Yeah. 
he was all over that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab on the run. Marte puts it away, but Miggy area. goes deep, and the Singers have a one nothing lead. A run on this solo shot. It's now one nothing. And welcome back, Trey Turner at the plate. Pretty amazing athlete, this guy. Trey's hitting 342, 27 steals. You're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Mm. Throws oh, he threw it away. Yeah. Into the crowd. Yeah. That's going to put Turner on second base. That is a huge error. That puts Trey Turner on second base with nobody out. That is a huge error. Shohei's hitting 384 in the year, eight homers, 24 RBIs. He's had a great year. I think his numbers are actually a little bit better than that. Turner takes off, and he's in there safely. Trey Turner steals third base, and now he's 90 feet away with that tying run. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there. The Errors kill you. Shohei's not going to bunt. He's going to swing away. The pitch was a ball. The 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. Shohei Otani, the $700 million man. And pitch. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Alexis Diaz, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. The pitch. Fought off foul. On the ground, right Down side. ball in the second. That'll get the run in. Tosses the first, but the game is tied. And it's an RBI for Shohei Otani, and we are 1-1. One -one. That was a huge error by Ramirez. And stepping in is the speedy Willie Mays. Willie's hitting 259. It says he has two homers and five RBIs. I, mean, I only remember one home run. The outfield. It is beautiful. This There's one. Out to left, center. left center field, fairly deep. Off, off the wall. wall. Sizemore with a quick throwback. Willie in. has Bill a one out stand up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. One out, runner at second. You tell Marte, Marte 203 the on the season. Six overs, 10 RBIs. Those are not accurate numbers. There's one right up the middle, though. That's going to be an RBI. Willie's going to score easily. Ketel Marte has an RBI single. And the Stingrays have their first lead of the World Series. I don't know exactly what Marte's numbers are. Those were not accurate numbers, but he can tack on an RBI to whatever the real number is. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That's it for Marcus Stroman, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by Scott Stevens Thrillers, ssnovels.com or amazon.com. Find your Scott so Stevens Barlow Thriller will take over here. Good day. He has a great slider with tons Barlow's of Barlow's been in 11 games. He's 2 and 1 with a blown save. He has an ERA of 7.36. Here's the babe. Babe Ruth. 361 average on the year, like five homers, 12 RBIs. He can turn it into those, a three run game in the blink those, of an eye. I don't know. I think he doesn't have that many home that runs. That one ran inside, almost got him. On the season. The batting average might be accurate. 361, I don't know. It seems a little high for what he's been doing this season. He's been okay. And there's player. one ripped down the right field line and speed foul. On the base pass. He handles just the out in front of that slur. Well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run ah. or a run and hit. Jammed him up and in. That was a ball. Mike Piazza on deck. 
Road sends that one to right field, playable, and played by Acuna. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up Batting enough to nine. really drive it. The catcher, Mike Piazza. And now the catcher. Yeah, Piazza is hitting 250 Piazza. since joining the Sting Race recently. Deep, Two RBIs. Over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Marte leads off first with two down to the inning. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Marte takes off. It really doesn't matter what he did that on his own. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at bat. Nice job to get into scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Bounce to the right side. Uh, it's all right. And that is that. Stingrays get two. And now they look to close it out. They jump ahead. With we Kenley Jansen. To the top of the third. The Rays have the lead. Two to one. Back here at the ballpark. On in the third oh, inning. Fingers. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna. Randy clearly hasn't had his best stuff today, but he's on the winning end, so let's get him out of there right now. Kenley Jansen's going to come in. He's been in 11 game. games. He's 1-0, and oh, 8 saves, wise. and an ERA of 0 8 7. Appreciate that shot of the highway. Seemed and relevant at the time. That one's in there. Strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Right-handed reliever. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning, and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Now the batter now, Frank Thomas. That's in there. That's strike one. Frank singled in his first at bat. Strike right there. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And here's a slow roller. Right off Marte. the end of the bat. In plenty of time to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Here's Jose Ramirez. And that's a strike. The other oh. way, and he beats the shift. He does. Around first, Get it in. two. Henderson hustles it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you Ramirez need. Ramirez trying to make up for that ball. error. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. A chance now to even the score. That was a huge error and led to a run. At the plate now, and that's inside. Trying to deliver as the hero. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. On a line out towards center. Get there. there it Got is. it. Ball game. Stingrays win. They lead the World Series one game to none. Nice come from behind victory for the Tampa Bay Stingrays. Kenley Jansen earns the save. Randy Johnson gets the victory. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final Marcus numbers. Marcus Stroman takes the loss. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, boo, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. The Soul Singers, I'm sorry, the Tampa Bay Stingrays scored two runs on two hits. The Soul Singers scored one run on five hits. And they made a big error 
Ramirez on that error put Trey Turner at second base. He then stole third and scored. That was a huge error. It was the tying run, and it kept the inning going. There's Miguel Cabrera's home run. That put the singers in front. And Willie Mays put one off the wall in center field. Julio Rodriguez puts away the final out, and the Tampa Bay Stingrays lead the World Series one game to none. Kenley Jansen is your player of the game. He got the save, his ninth of the season. He pitched one inning, perfect. No, it wasn't perfect. No runs, one hit, and he struck one out. Randy Johnson got the win. He did not have his best stuff. He pitched two innings, gave up a run on four hits. He struck out two and didn't walk anybody. He did good enough to get the victory. Willie Mays was one for one with a double. Ketel Marte, one for one with an RBI, and Shohei Otani was 0 for one with a very important RBI. So the Tampa Bay Stingrays win at Riverboat Field, game one of the World Series, two to one. They now lead the series one game to none. The big unit, Randy Johnson got the win. He's 2 and 0 with a 1 4 2. Kenley Jansen gets the save, lowering his ERA to 0 7 9. Marcus Stroman takes the loss. It says he is 0 and 1 on the season. So the Stingrays lead the Singers in the World Series one game to none. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.